Yes, and we are live. What's up, Cheddar? Oh, wait, Cheddar. Welcome to our first call of 2020. We got a lot of exciting news to share with you guys today. Feels like it's been a hot minute since we've connected with you guys. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to give everyone a chance to load in here. And uh, I'm joined. Uh, I'm Gabe Strom. If we, if you're, we got a lot of new people in the group, Grant. Um, Grant Dunn on my side of the screen here. Uh, oh, yeah. When actually Washington. Grant, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good you day. You guys, we have some so much cool stuff cooking for you guys. You guys have no idea. And that's this isn't just like hype. There's a lot of projects we've got going on behind the scenes. And today, for the first time ever, we're going to be announcing one of those projects, you guys. You're going to love it. It's going to help your business grow. And uh, we're going to get through that pretty quickly. Our goal is not to have a really long call today. So our agenda is very short, Grant. If it's all right, I'll just share the agenda. Uh, we're going to go through three things. Number one, updates in the group and community. Um, and we're going to talk about this to kind of set the table. Number two, uh, I'm going to share a quick behind the scenes story. This is a story that's never been shared uh, to OH Cheddar. Um, Grant's making a big shift in his business. We're going to talk about some things that are happening personally uh, within our lives. And number three, we have a radical announcement. Okay, radical announcement. Um, and this is one of, of many. There's We have a, so much fun stuff for you guys planned this year. Uh, Grant and I have been spending really since you guys have heard from us last in Q4 planning out how do we help you guys have the most prosperous 2020 and beyond. And uh, we're taking radical growths in our business and we want to encourage you guys to do the same thing in yours. So uh, real quick, before we dive in, G, I'm going to say what's up to you guys. I've got another computer here. Let me refresh the page. Uh, can you guys all hear us and see us <laughs> before we get into the rowdiness here. Um, Looks like it's working, man. Uh, Daniel, what's up? Beverly, what's up? Gary Spring, what's up? Uh, Nate McAllister, what's up, man? Got a lot of the good people in the group here. So, um, Grant, you want to just dive right in, man? We, our goal is to do like a 20-minute call. So we got, we're going to go through the other two announcements quickly, and then we promise yeah. to announce the big announcement. We're not going to drag it out like a long call, um, but it all kind of works in together. So, uh, G, you want to start with some some. Uh, uh, we'll start with the updates, man. I'll go through updates if that's cool, and then um, maybe turn it over to you for the big shift stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Updates in the group. Um, we got a lot of you. We have a lot of new people that joined the group, Grant, since the last time we did a call. I think we've had like four hundred some people join the group, and uh, it seems to me that word is kind of getting out in the Amazon community. The Cheddar reputation is preceding us, and probably the number one complaint we get. I guess if there is a complaint on, a, on this is on a pretty much a, a daily basis, definitely on a weekly basis is, uh, hey, how do I get on one of your list? <laughs> all, all of our, our top sh cheddar, uh, top shelf lists, so cheddar one, two, three, four have all been sold out, maxed out for about six months now. Uh, pre Q4, they filled up and um, there's still spots on Feta that kind of fluctuates. We've had some spots in flips open up. Um, so if you guys are looking for inventory, both of those opportunities are available for you, but um, we haven't had Cheddar. And Grant, you want to talk? A lot of people get the leads, and we get a lot of thank yous for the, this, uh, the leads, but our team has been hard at work. And one of the core values, and I'll let you talk about <laughs> Grant from a production side, that we've set from the beginning of OA Cheddar is premium quality. Right. And from the very beginning, from day one, we set out, um, we said, hey, we want to be the best leads in the industry, the most premium, the juiciest, the quality, the consistent. We want to be the bread and butter for an OA, OA business to let you guys build on that. And we've never sacrificed that. So we've never just pushed out a list uh, to make money. We've never just rushed into categories. If anything, in fact, I feel like we've had the handbrake on the production team um, because everything has to go through a high quality. So Grant, what's the, we've been growing the team in the behind the scenes, but you want to just kind of talk about that briefly? Sure. I mean, that's that like, kind of like what you said. I mean, our, our number one goal is quality. We're not going to sacrifice quality for for a payday, um, and so we're constantly. In fact, our systems are built. They're, they are. If there's anything proprietary about Cheddar, it's uh, that that is behind the scenes. It's probably how we manage our team. It's probably how we pay our team and incentivize our team. Um, and we've got some really cool things in the works actually that I've been working with with Taylor to really uh, improve even the per production on a per person basis with our team. It's kind of exciting. Um, but yeah, we're not willing to sacrifice quality to sell. I mean, there's other groups out there that can sell a bunch of lists. Uh, we've te we test them. You know, we go out, we test them, we, we interview our them, clients. Actually. Yeah, we we buy them. We ask people. You know, how how do you feel about these these other groups and these other lists? And and usually it's like you know, you know, I made a post in the group the other day. Someone had came in and said, uh, "I just started um, on Cheddar Three. I need more Cheddar. 
I've never been on a list that's this good. Like, you know, this is great. And I'm like, okay, cool. We get this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I made a post about it. And, uh, you know, I think that's just really where we're at. Like we're obsessed with quality. It, we, I don't think we, that's kind of what our brand is. Um, so we've been, we've been short on leads, right? Because there's a lot of OA leads, right? There's a lot of feta out there, but we don't want to sell feta. We want to sell cheddar. And yeah. so now our team is 21 strong and, uh, yeah, we say we feel the same way about flips, by the way, too. Our flips list, I've again tested the market. Um, our flips list is the best. It, it is what it is. So that's so that kind of sets the table, guys. Just so you guys know, like when you guys message us, like we we listen to you and want to acknowledge you, we recognize you. Like we get this question all the time, and and we're not just rushing out just to produce lead lists. That's never been been the goal with this. So, uh, so that's been the challenge we've had. We've had a really good problem as a company, and that is that we don't have product to sell you guys. We don't have extra lists. We don't have extra inventory, and we don't want to just push stuff out. So um, that being said, there's been so that's kind of the. Uh, some updates. I want to get into some other stuff. Grant, I want you to share. Uh, this is something I want to move into the second agenda. Actually, yeah. wait a second here, dude. Wait a second. Right. We got these fancy. Okay. I forgot. I got these fancy little things. Hey, um, before we move on, what's up, Joy Packard? Um, such good guys. Appreciate you, Joy. David McCoy, appreciate that. I've compared your list to several others. I'll try to the best. So I appreciate that. Um, and if not, you guys are really good at telling us too. I don't think anyone in the group. Yes. <laughs> like, it happens every week, Grant. People post like, you know, leak this. But I'm like, who are you guys telling? You guys want us to replace it? Or I don't really understand. Right. You guys are good with that. Well, so, we will. I mean, if we make a mistake, we fix it. If it's if you message us at one in the afternoon and, and complain about a lead, uh, we're probably not going to fix it because it's probably because you're late uh, to the to the game. Right. But um, but otherwise, yeah, if, if we get complaints, we, we try to fix it and we notate stuff that errors that we make on the sheet. So, yeah, if you ever find something you're like, why did this why did this come to me this way? This isn't what I was expecting. Go back to the sheet. It's probably been notated um, if somebody in the community yeah. brought it up. We're if if the team. Yeah, the team catches it. Um, if it doesn't get caught in the Philippines, it gets caught in the U.S. If it doesn't get caught there, you got we have a quality control person that goes through it. And if it misses all that, you guys are good to catch it. You're kind of like the yeah. last round of the defense. And that's a good note, Grant. A lot of these leads, you got to some of them, you got to be quick. So if you go check a lead list two hours late, for example, now they're not all like that. And leads have seasons, too. You can actually go back to the lead list months later and find really juicy stuff. And we talk about this on every broadcast we do, because it's probably like right. the best kept secret of cheddar is that it, it can keep giving. Yes. Um, that being said, we want to just recognize we, we hear you guys. We know what, what you guys are saying, what the market's saying, and we've responded. Um, Eric says, I'm on two other lists, and Cheddar 4 is top notch and best, in my opinion. So, <laughs> also like hearing that, man. Um, cool. So, that's what's cooking, guys. Let's talk about the big shift, Grant. Look at this. I'm going to pause this. We got more Cheddar updates to come. We've got a, a true real life story. And, um, Grant, I think this applies to everybody in the that's do retail arbitrage and online arbitrage and you and your brother Taylor um, Taylor probably doesn't get enough credit for what he does in your business because he basically right. runs your company um, right. he's really stepped into a general manager role and it's allowed you to free up your time and help with innovation on other projects and things like that but Taylor basically runs your um, your arbitrage business you guys have a seven-figure arbitrage business that you're looking to double and scale um, yeah. but he's been on the road a lot um, and yeah. so I want to you want to just kind of talk he's been doing um, you know I don't think you mind sharing full transparency Taylor's on the road for like three four days a week doing travel trage which is a very time-consuming process a very expensive process and right. Grant you were telling me offline the other day that he has now been able to replace four days worth of work with four hours of work uh, sourcing OA off the cheddar and is able to spend the same amount of money. And uh, so you guys are going through this. So what's happening in y'all's business? Yeah, I'll, I'll, one little correction on, on what you reported, but otherwise exactly what you just, you have described. You know, with the RA business, you guys know we're in Wenatchee, center of Wenatchee and uh, our center of Washington. And there really isn't a lot of opportunity for retail arbitrage unless we drive at least two to three hours away. Yeah. And you if we're gonna go on that, you yeah, guys, and if we're going to go down to the local store like in Chicago. We have stores everywhere. It's not like that for you guys. Yeah, yeah like we can shop our local market like once every two weeks and, it, and it'd be worth our time. Any more than that, we would be wasting it um, or wasting our time. And so so anyway, you know, the, the process has been, you know, for most of the last three years uh, or two and a half years or so, Taylor goes on the road, spends about four days out there, at least two nights. Uh, that in, incurs hotels, a lot of fuel, uh, a lot of miles on my truck. Um, and it's expensive, it, it, honestly, it, it just, it's really expensive and it's, it's expensive for Taylor, you know, cause not only is he having to work eight hours a day, but he also has to drive two to three hours a day. 
um, when he's doing that. And so it's been it's been a lot of work and, and it's been a lot of expense on it. We finally and, and Taylor's been trying to convince me for you know as we've been building Cheddar, he's like, bro, because Ch- if, you, if you guys don't know, for the most part, Taylor has been the the, the quality control uh, met, uh, a person, lead quality control person in the states. We have rotated a couple other people out as Taylor was extremely busy, um, but for the most part, he's doing it. He's back in it. Uh, every almost every day of the week right now and uh and he's like bro like we we have so much we can do with oa like we're not even touching it and to be honest with you part of the reason that we didn't dive into oa over the last you know year and a half has just been change a fear of change me trying and me also focusing on other businesses and being kind of afraid to like make a major transition in how we source inventory right and, uh, and, and and it just came about as I was looking at the expenses and, you know, we're just looking at how things are working. We're like, dude, we got to cut. We got to cut RA. Like, we got to go into, we got to test this OA thing out. We got to see what's possible. And so we literally from went from an 80, probably more like a 90, 10, 90% arbitra- retail arbitrage, 10% OA. Uh, we are now completely reversing that scenario. And we're about 80% OA and 20% um, retail arbitrage. And okay. so as you, as you described, uh, what used to what used to take Taylor about eight hours of shopping and two hours of traveling a day to spend, let's say, twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars. Taylor can now accomplish that in four to five hours with OA in the same day. Right. Okay. So we're spending the same budget with almost half as amount of the amount of time that it used to take. So so that's a that's a big shift. And uh, what, what are your sales like? What kind of volume are you guys hovering around? Uh, sales are kind of low right now, uh, about 80, uh, we're about $90,000. Um, but we're kind of, kind of went through, yeah, we went through the last 30 days. We went through the, the early, you know, kind of the, the, the pre or the, the post Q4 post Christmas, uh, uh, rush, you know, kind of had our inventory levels low. So we're actually in the process of kind of filling our store back up as well after okay. the, after the holiday. Um, but I will say that I'm pretty pleased with, with how things are turning out. In fact, we're, we're, we're also, this is what is also interesting is with retail arbitrage, we were always kind of pushed into this scenario where we were kind of going deeper on some things that that were not not bad buys, but also just we're having to take a little more risk with RA. Whereas with OA, we have so many leads. Cheddar is so abundant, not to mention what we're about to announce today and just the, 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 the volume, <laughs> the volume of the goodness, right, <laughs> of the cheddar. Um, has really has made it really easy for us to to go very shallow, right? Which is a okay. big big strategy, as you guys know. So we're staying shallow. We're hardly ever buying more than three to five units of something. We're casting a lot of skews out into the market or into our store, and uh, it's been pretty cool because we're I think we're having some better days than we've usually had over the last two weeks. Because again, this is a transition we literally made like the, like three. Uh, Three and a half weeks ago is when we really kind of just dove in. This is um, fresh. Okay. This is fresh. Yeah. So, so this is um I like to, you know, success leads clues, guys. If you've been around our community for a couple of years, you know that I'm a big fan of that. And uh, there's just you can see things. So Grant, you guys have been, and this is coming from you guys have been RA, like that's been your jam for like uh how many, I don't know how many years now. Many several years. Five, five almost. Five years. Yeah. That's basically like 20 years of non-internet world. So it's like a whole career of retail arbitrage. And you're, um, for the specific reason of cutting costs, you can be way more efficient. And then how much can Taylor, um, so how much is Taylor able to source? I know he was on the road for four days. Can he replace his, um, like can he replace yeah. all that sourcing in a couple right. hours with Shutter? Right now we're spending $12,000 a week, uh, which is a little bit more than what we used to do is 11. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm actually seeing what we're doing and I'm going, oh my gosh, I want to scale my store. I actually want to, put invest more into my arbitrage business than I had than I had and in the last few years I really haven't wanted to I've been working on other projects now yeah. I'm looking at what we're, yeah, what we're fire fire yeah like for example let me give you an example Charles sent me a picture and I wish I had this photo I'll, I'll post it in the group uh, Charles sent Taylor and I a photo and it was three boxes three large boxes from Home Depot and he goes that's forty five hundred dollars worth of OA so in one shift, right, he, he, he processed $4,500 worth of OA, packed it up into three measly boxes, right, which in retail arbitrage would often be a lot more than three boxes, so more expensive to ship. And, and, we're, and so we're even more efficient shipping OA than we were processing RA. Why? Because there's no tag removal, there's no sticker removal, right? The processing is taking us less time. Some of it already become, comes prepped. It's pretty great. So we're, we're really excited. Like, uh, 
uh, we're not new to OA, but we're new to doing it on, at the scale that we're doing it. So. Yeah, so you guys are going all in and this is the same cheddar. So it's your systems are getting more efficient on a sourcing side and on the processing side. So that makes you increases your profit margin. And uh, just to clarify too, Taylor sourcing off of normal cheddar. Taylor's not sourcing off of any, there's no secret list that uh, Taylor's on, right? Just the same cheddar that we, we publish. Yep. Okay, we, so we might find 45 leads in a day that we want to buy. Yeah, so just because I know someone's going to ask that question because I get asked that question. We don't have this. We're here to serve you guys. I want you guys to get that. Hopefully you feel our love. We build this stuff for you guys to share this stuff. Um, okay, so and you're going uh, you're going uh, shallow and wide. So that's what was news to some people. You guys aren't a lot of times people want to know how many items, uh, you know, how many units do I purchase of an item? You guys are going onesie, twosie, threesies kind of across the board going wide. So we'll report back on that. But um, for this reason, we've been motivated to grow the cheddar and to solve this problem that you guys have been asking about. How do we get some more cheddar? We, because we get asked this question all the time. So Grant, was there anything else with the shift that's worth um, pointing out? I think it's valuable yeah. to see what you guys are doing on a high level. But anything else you want to add to that? I mean, you kind of said something that, that reminds me of a conversation I was having with Taylor and we were, we were saying, I was like, man, like, how do we do $2 million a year in OA? Like, we have the time now. Wow. We can go to, we can push past because we did about one point, we did a little over 1.3 last year, not okay. quite the 1.5 that I was hoping for. And now I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, I just freed up my, my, my sourcing agents time by 50%, right? Uh, and producing the same result with 50% of the investment. And I'm going, okay, now, and here's the other thing I can, instead of paying Taylor, what I was paying him to go on the road, which is, which is fair because it's a lot of, it's hard work, right? You're on your feet. You deserve good pay. It's an, and it's also, a, 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 you know, you have to be smart to, to, to be able to sell, you know, to, to purchase uh, $1.3 million worth of the inventory, you know, via retail arbitrage, right? You have to know what you're doing. Right. And, uh, and so I was paying him appropriately for that. Now I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, I can build a team of buyers for probably half of what I was paying Taylor. This is not, this is nothing to diss anybody that, you know, gets paid 12 it's to 15 bucks an hour. Expensive. Yeah, it's expensive to pay, well, relatively. It, pay it's easy. It's, here, here's what we do. Taylor goes through the leads, he puts a buy list together and says, please buy this for us. Right, we just you started have, this this week, by the way. you have VAs that are doing your buying for you then? We have somebody in the States that's helping us. State side that's doing buying still, okay. Yes. Okay. Important, yep. important to point out because a lot of people want to know about that. You know, how do you outsource that? So you got, you keep that close to home. Yes. And, and one thing you said that I think is important is like, I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, how do I go from 1.3 to 2 million in the next year? And I'm like, okay, we need more leads. Taylor and I are looking at us. Okay. We can go, we can go shop more leads. And, and again, we, 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 we test other lists. We don't stay on them because it usually isn't really worth it for us. There's a couple really good lists out there. So this is not to diss, anybody else is selling yeah, leads like there's a lot of great leads. services out there yeah we don't want to hurt you know anybody else's stuff like they're, they're ever, there's a lot of good things out there that, that are worth money but yep. a few of them we don't really like and so we will cancel and then there's a few that we just don't need because we have cheddar right but we'll test them we kind of engage how is our product comparing to the market how can we be better um and, and everybody else should be doing that by the way if you're a competitor or you know a competitor and i don't say that to be cocky i mean that like competitors are opportunities they're not they're not a threat right so we got to look at things a little differently that's how we do it here um, and, uh, and the point I'm making is, is we're looking at, we need more leads. We want to do $2 million a year. Okay. How do we do that? We build more cheddar, right? We, we build a bigger team. We improve the team's performance. We get more leads that we can sell to all of you, right. And help you guys grow your businesses and also leverage for ourselves as well. So that's kind of the, that's where we're at. So this is, we, we share this stuff with you guys because we're entrepreneurs and we're all in this together. And so there's lessons in all of our journeys. So when there's a problem, like in your business, you know, Grant and I have learned this over the years, you know, look at problems as opportunities. So we didn't have no mo cheddar. People were hungry for cheddar. Grant, you guys are hungry for cheddar. You're doubling down and going all in. You've got a, a newfound, I mean, you guys have just been kind of cruising. Your arbitrage business has been really cruising steadily with the systems right. you've got. And, um, you know, you're investing double down. So that led us with a, with a dilemma. We need more cheddar and we don't want to sacrifice quality. How do we get it? And so we put the cheddar team uh, collectively at whole to work uh, to find new opportunities for new leads outside of our current lead list offering one. And number two, how to be more efficient with our existing team to squeeze the lemon, if you will, and squeeze some more juice out of the team that way. And we found opportunities on both of those. So um, before we go into our, our big announcements, I think we're about that time, Grant. I just looked at the, the clock. Uh, we said 20 minutes. So I want to stay in integrity with our announcement. Uh, there's been some funny comments. Um, I'm reading you guys over here. Uh, <laughs> Michael's ready for extra sharp. 
Uh, Chris Grant mm-hmm. was talking about the whole uh, buying thing. He's ready to break kneecaps if they decide to misuse the company card. That's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Got to keep the buying close by. Yeah, that's something. Uh, outsource the Legion if you can. Use leverage cheddar. Gosh, it makes you know 149 bucks a month. It just makes it a bargain of the century. You know, for the time that it saves you, which is exciting for us because we've got more of that. So, um, G, uh, that's the behind the scenes stuff, guys. Uh, you ready to turn the corner? Should we go ahead and do our big announcement? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this, but um, so let me turn the corner here. These are fancy. Um, thankfully, all our technology is working today. So appreciate you guys being on live, by the way, hanging out with us for a few minutes. This announcement that we're going to share right now is one of a series of good news for you. So we've got, um, I mean, we plan out our whole year in advance. So we've got a series of, we've got some good news now. We've got some good news planned for later this summer. We've got some good news planned for fall. And we're already thinking of Q4 2020 and have been building accordingly for you guys um, and for our businesses and for you guys. And so that's kind of, I would say this, that this isn't like, I know we kind of like hype things sometimes to get excited because it's fun, um, but this is really great news. You're going to love it. And we have some more good news to share um, that we're not going to share all of it today, right, Grant? We've agreed we're going to keep, there's another project yeah. we're working on that we are not going to be talking about today. So there's several projects that we can't share today. Yeah, actually. yeah, I know, dude. I'm actually, I'm <laughs> probably more excited about those um, to be totally yeah. transparent. So, all right, dude. Um, we're just trying to be a little goofy guys. Cause there's no, like, we don't have a fancy studio. This is where we would like cue the band drum roll. Actually, I do have a video to show. Um, Grant, yes. we do. Yes. So you guys ready for the, uh, big announcement video type of yeah. yes in chat. If you are, uh, for fun, since we're all on here live on a Friday afternoon, hope it's well, wherever you guys are, I see, um, I see y'all's comments here on the B Live, but it, it doesn't show your name. So let me look over here. Nick says, "Great mentality, abundance over scarcity." Yes, we should do more training on abundance. <laughs> Might as well be releasing the first iPhone. That's funny. I don't quite feel like this is as nostalgic as Steve Jobs. Maybe we'll get there someday, Grant. We can do like a Steve Jobs type opening. Maybe we'll save our our um, the Project X stuff. We'll do it. We'll do a. Uh, We'll do a secret reveal for that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. All right. So this, is, uh, I'll, I'll share the video. It's a quick little clip. We'll cue those guys. We'll be right back. And um, without further ado, here's the big announcements. January 24th, 2020. And uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> How about them apples? Choey Cheddar 5 in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The rumors are true. And uh, let me flip this around. Uh, let me do this here. Okay, that's what it is. Coming soon. We're going to talk about this. List 5, same great quality you're used to. The list has been improving, actually. If you guys have noticed, we've been going, uh, we've been increasing the team, increasing our exposure in grocery, increasing our in- exposure in shoes and clothing. And we have a lot of uh, health, personal beauty, uh, a lot of great stuff, uh, Grant, on the list. And uh, this isn't just OA Cheddar 5. There's a second part to this, Grant. So do you mind if I just go through and share the whole, you let the whole cat out of the bag rather than kind of drag this on? Yeah, yeah let's do it. So this is what's exciting. This is happening next Friday. You guys are going to want to save the date. Uh, let me go ahead and throw this up here. Um, da, 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 da. Where's my fancy? Uh, here we go. Okay, so the date is next Friday. This time next Friday is the list is dropping. Okay, it's important to know because this is going to be on a first come first serve basis like all of our lists. Let me see if I can make us. uh, I don't know how to. Okay, here we go. (laughs) Okay, so that's what's happening. This is not just one list, though. We're doing something special. Um, We've beefed the team up, as Grant has mentioned. Uh, We hired seven new people this quarter um, and have been training them. So we're not just releasing OH Cheddar 5, but we are also... Uh, for those of you that jump on uh, this offer, we'll also get added to OH Chatter 6 as um, beta testers for free. So you're getting two lists for the price of one, and we're giving you access to six for 60 days. So you guys um, can jump in there. So here's how this happens. Here's how this works from our perspective. Uh, we hire a new team, we train team, uh, we increase our lead flow, and we've had a surplus for OH Chatter 5 for enough time now, so we feel comfortable releasing that to you guys, and we have extra overflow. 
And typically the overflow, and Grant, you can kind of speak into this uh, a little bit more too. Typically the overflow sits on our OH header chunk list. And occasionally when we offer our chunks to the group, which is very rare, typically this is something we did more in the Q4 season, um, the leads sit there and they go unused. So rather than having the leads unused, we want to maximize cheddar, maximize y'all's cheddar. And uh, so we went on to hook you guys up because we always like to do that and uh, give you guys two lists for the price of one. Uh, so this list will be just like our other ones, 149 a month. Uh, no long-term contracts, so you can jump on. And if you ever want to cancel, you just message Cindy and she can help you guys with that. Those of you guys that have been in touch with Cindy, she's amazing. And um, this list is going to sell out quickly, Grant, I expect, mainly because we've been sold out for six months now and we've had about 400 new people join the group since last Q4 and um, we get messaged all the time. So uh, Dequaria says the trailer is legit. Hey, you can thank, uh, give a shout out to Clark Hosp for that fancy trailer stuff we'll have to play that again uh a theme from somewhere but uh so cool who's pumped man uh type in pumped or something i see a bunch of yeses in the chat grant um what's been happening you've been handling all the production side of things what have you been seeing as far as the leads and specifically i'm just gonna ask in case someone's new here uh what categories like the the cheddar has kind of evolved and we've chosen as a company to not spin off and offer niche specific leads, but kind of put it all together. Like all the best stuff we have goes on cheddar and it's kind of a smorgasbord. Um, and the reason we do that is we can't, there's no way for us to know what you're ungated in. There's just no way for, I mean, Grant, which you guys can sell, somebody else can't and vice versa. So we just kind of put it all together. So what have you been seeing happening to the categories specifically with the cheddar that we've been producing recently, say from some of the older stuff, like th you know, three to six months ago, maybe? Sure. Well, we've always been health and personal care and beauty heavy, and we always will be, I think, because there's an abundance of opportunity in those categories. So we're still seeing a lot of that, um, but we're starting to see a little more toys because, again, with this with these new hires, uh, we're really deploying them out to uh, essentially sniff out what we are currently not seeing or currently avoiding. All right. We have uh, we've we've been working with a team of about 14, 15 for a while, uh, 14 for quite a while. Now we're 21. And uh, and so we're pushing them into the, the grocery category and we're pushing them into clothing and shoes. Now, you guys might know a little bit about my store. And, and, and in fact, I would say a lot of the, the million, multi-million dollar per year sellers and arbitrage, they're doing a lot. Of, a lot of them are doing a lot of clothing and shoes. So there's an abundance of opportunity. Uh, we're finding that there's ways to get ungated in Nike, Under Armour, Adidas and so on. Um, even with you know new slightly newer accounts, um, so yeah, we're, we're we're pushing into those other categories. What the one of the reasons that uh, we like grocery, though I think I saw something about grocery gating. I think there's something going on there. Um, I was talking to uh, to uh, this is a plug for Christopher Grant. By the way, he's awesome. Uh, you guys, if you aren't, aren't subscribed to Clear the Shelf uh, email list, make sure you are. Um, he's one of our uh, brand partners, <clears throat> but I think he's going to be doing. Something I probably actually I probably should announce it because I'm not sure if he's he's yeah, announced exactly. it yet. Yeah. Uh, but he's got something coming. But I, all all I know is that I think there's uh, been some sort of a gating, a category gating on grocery, um, and so there's some solutions for that. But uh, grocery in the past has always been a good category. In fact, that was one of the when I went full time, I was primarily grocery, and that was grocery off of Walmart shelves. Um, so hopefully, what we're hoping will I think, and this is a strategy that I've I've gotten wind of, uh, people will use grocery on lead lists to then go and source them out of the store as well. So anyway, the, the whole point is, is we're just diversifying and providing more opportunity. And hopefully, uh, you know, when a new seller jumps on a list, there's at least something, right? Because that's some, you know, one of the complaints we get is I'm, I'm on the list and, you know, there's several days a week where there's nothing I can buy. I'm, I'm restricted on all of it. Now, granted, go to work, figure it out. Right. There's there are solutions in place. And if you need guidance, you can ask me and I can send you to somebody that will help you with that. Um, same with Gabe and anybody, any of the leaders in the group. Um, so anyway, the point is, is diversification uh, and more specifically grocery clothing and shoes. So we're, we're going deep and wide, just like in Sunday school, deep and Absolutely. wide. Um, yes. so health, <laughs> personal care, grocery, shoes, clothing, uh, any categories I'm missing? Toys, games, home and kitchen, home improvement. Um, and there's more, but yeah, electronics. But again, there's not a whole lot of arbitrage, at least from our perspective, there hasn't been a lot of arbitrage with electronics. Um, so certainly the certainly weighted towards the beauty and health and personal care side. 
Lotions and potions. Maybe. Lotions and potions. Yeah. So it's bread and butter stuff. So this is our, you know, we get asked this question all the time. Hey, can you do this list? Hey, I'm gated in this category. And we since, you know, the best solution we've had is, hey, let's just give the best stuff we have in a premium product called OA Cheddar. You guys like OA Cheddar one, two, three, or four. Or maybe you're subscribed. I know a bunch of you are subscribed to multiple lists. You're on one and four. There's like a million combinations. If you want more leads, uh, this is what we got. So here's how this is going to work. I want to be clear. And then we'll hang out and answer questions for a few minutes. Next Friday, so that is January 31st, 2020, 1 p.m. Central. So the same time, we will uh, drop a link in the group. And if you're subscribed, the, the very best way, I saw a question, a bunch of questions. Um, uh, link for the early sign up, please. So I've already been asked this question. Uh, we're not doing any early bird this time. And the reason why is it's just the easiest way that we know to make it fair. If you want on the list, uh, next week when we drop the list, um, jump on it. Um, if you're not subscribed to our uh, a waiting list, our waiting list has been growing. I think we've got like 200 people on there now, Grant. Um, and you guys work with Cindy. Uh, those of you guys have messaged Cindy. Uh, jump on the waiting list. So head over to ohheader.com. And on the top of the page, the first big green button. In fact, I can head over there, Grant, and do a quick screen share here. Let's do this. Let's do screen share. Maybe, uh, do we want to talk about what they're going to see after, when we go ahead and drop the link, what it's going to look like in terms of the funnel? Or are we going to discuss that next week? Um, give me one second here. Uh, here we go. Um, let me know if you can see my screen. Actually, I got to do this here. I got to go here. Give me a second here. Let this beta bingo. How about this? It's getting closer. There okay. it is. You guys see my screen? All right. So we're on ohunter.com. The best way to uh, let me go back to that page. Here we go. Best way is that we're going to send that email next week. Hit this green button. Uh, put your name and email address in here. This is our official waiting list page. And uh, we will send the email out at 1 p.m. It'll be scheduled uh, to go out. And you guys will be the first to get the link. Uh, to join. And we will also post it in the group. And that is just the fair way we know how to do this. Uh, this list, like all of our lists, we're capping it at 55. And uh, we're men of integrity. So when we hit 55, we become sold out just like our other list. And full transparency, okay? You're getting Cheddar 5. And for those of you that choose, there'll be an opportunity. I think in the upsell, there'll be a, a button you can click to add OA Cheddar list number six. Uh, for free. And rather, like I said, we want to give you guys a chance to beta test those leads. You're basically getting two lists for the price of one, at least for the first 60 days, which is how we're going to yeah. run this. And then after 60 days, if you guys want to stay on six, if you like the leads, you will get first right of refusal at six before we open it up to anybody publicly. Okay. So you, you get five and you also lock in your spot at six. It's just an opportunity. If you decide you don't want uh, six and you're just happy with five, no big deal. You can offer up your spot and then we will begin going through the waiting list as normal for the rest of those spots. So that's how five and six is going to happen. Um, questions from you guys about this process. I want to make sure that we communicated this clearly. Uh, we decided to do it this way just to keep it simple and clean. Usually we have like a, you know, we send out a link early and do all this jazz. We're not doing that this time. So we just want to make it super easy and simple. And I believe if you guys want to be on it, what I would do right now, your call to action for right now is pull up in your phone and set a, set a reminder for 10 minutes early um, yes. next week. And I would get the web page pulled up. Um, we'll be, like I said, I'll be emailing you. So join the waiting list. You guys will get the email. That's probably gonna be the fastest way to get it. I'll probably set that grant to go out like one minute early. Um, yep. So that is going to be the fastest way to subscribe to the email list. And then we will post it in the group um, probably a minute or two after that. So um, it's going to be fun. Uh, we love opening new lists. We love serving you guys. And we're doing things this year. Uh, it's all about multiplying and abundance. And one of the rules of abundance is abundance doesn't come in ones. Abundance comes in twos and multiples. <laughs> so rather than just do one list at a time, we're dropping two for you guys. We're going to speed up the cheddar production. So um, for lack of a better word, our Oompa Loompas are working hard. And please don't take that as Oompa Loompa racism, as I have tons of respect. But they are hard at work for you guys, making cheddar. Um, Grant, what else? What am I missing, man? I think I would just make sure that we clarify that uh, cheddar, cheddar 6, right, is in beta. It's not a full list. You may see. So again, this is a kind of a free gift for signing up for Cheddar 5. Okay. And you may see one lead on it in a particular day because, again, we have to have surplus that we reserve in case we need it for a rainy day. Okay, So we're always kind of 
setting stuff off to the side in case we need it. Um, you might see one lead and you might see 10, okay? And obviously as we work toward that 60 day mark where we plan to go live with Cheddar Six, you'll be seeing a full list as we get to that point. Um, but just don't, just understand that as it's in the early part, it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be in beta, so recognize yes. that. Um, and I think it's possible, I don't know if this is for sure how it's gonna be, but I believe we might have it set to where when you click the button to accept uh, Cheddar Six, you're gonna get 60 days for free. And then yep. it's, is it gonna auto bill? At that uh, point. So we're still building that. It should work that way. We had a little glitch with with um, Got it. No today, but yeah, it's um, we're setting it up to be a sixty day free trial. So mm -hmm. uh, it'll be very clear on the page though. Uh, cool. We just want to make it so it'd be automatic. So you can subscribe to Cheddar Six if you like Six and you want to stay on. You shouldn't have to do anything in the sixty days. It'll bill you automatically at the one forty nine per month. Um, and if you want to jump off um, at any point in time, just go to ohcheddar.com slash support. Um, it's the fastest way really to get a hold of Cindy. Um, um, you can also email us support at OH Cheddar. Like she's super responsive. Um, yeah, she does a great job. So I'm yes. um, really happy with Cindy. So thank you, Cindy. That's, yeah, thank you, Cindy. Hats up. There's a whole team effort, you guys, that it takes to produce this. Cindy on support, Clark with tech. We've got a whole team that's here to serve you guys, which is exciting. And we're doubling down on what's working. So here's a uh, for those of you guys that are staying on, I want to share with you guys the wealth principle right now. I want to give you a, a big golden nugget. We always have these gold, big gold nuggets that happen on these calls. Okay. It's a big gold nugget, okay? <laughs> um, and uh, success and abundance and wealth uh, leaves clues. So let me pull this up here. Um, see some really cool comments. Um, I saw, uh, who just posted this? I guess I got to take off time from work to be ready. Yes, if you're at work, we get this question all the time. We get, don't message us and say, hey, I'm at work. Can you save me a spot? Just set a reminder on your phone. To take five minutes out of your job, jump online, sign up for the list, and then go back to whatever you're doing. That's going to be the fastest way to do it. If you guys really are in a pinch and like you're dead set of being on this list, send Cindy a message, uh, support at ohcheddar.com. And if you, if you need help with something, you know, we're here to serve you guys. So I'll, I'll just leave that at that. So here, here's a big nugget, Grant. I want to just share this with everybody here because uh, success leaves clues, wealth leaves clues, abundance leaves clues. And you and I approach this year differently than we've approached every other year in our career. And you and I have both been entrepreneurs for over 10 years. Um, you know, I'm not for sure where each of our stories are. I think I've been doing this for 13, 14 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and we're doing something different this year. Each year as an entrepreneur, it was always, you know, how do we grow? How do we expand? What do we add? Uh, right. You know, what new thing do we got to do? And it feels like you're constantly chasing this, this momentum. So we had a very productive year last year. And we asked a different question this year. And we said, how do we continue to have success? And so um, the big gold nugget, um, and this is what we're applying in our business, is to take what worked for you last year. Okay, what, like, I'm going to ask you this question. You guys, this is a coaching opportunity. So write this down. If you want to write this question down, you can ask your team this tonight. What worked really well last year? Like what worked? Okay, and this is the 80-20 rule. Like 80% of our results come from 20% of our activities and the other stuff usually is just big wasters and it sucks on the business. So what's that 20%? What worked? First question. Second question, how do you do that again this year? Right. <laughs> how do you do more of what worked this year? So how, how does this apply? Well, specifically for Cheddar, as an example, you know, we've, we've, we've explored, let's do Cheddar private label. Let's do cheddar um, wholesale. Let's branch out and do all these things. And that would be starting like kind of like a new product line. Right. And instead we said, Hey man, cheddar four has been sold out for like six months. They, the community loves it. Uh, Grant, you guys are sourcing almost exclusively off this. We need more cheddar. Why don't we just go totally, make totally more cheddar? Exclusive. What's right. that? Totally exclusive. Including totally that. exclusive. All right. So take, take what's working. You know, cheddar is working. It's a product line's working rather than go build a whole new product line, which we do have plans and, and things in the cooker to do that. We just want to continue delivering to you guys on what's already working and to increase that. That's the second part of that. How can I, what worked from what's been working and two, how do I increase that? How do I multiply that? Okay. So instead of launching cheddar five, we're doing five and six together. We're doubling, right? We're just, we're pumping things out. We want to serve you guys. Same thing applies to your business, Grant, right? Like what's working? If you guys are finding success in clothing and shoes, if you're finding success in a specific category, if you're going shallow and wide, Grant, same model that you guys are doing, how do you do more of that? Well, Taylor, spending $2,000 a day, you know, how do I spend $4,000 a day on my arbitrage right. example? What other, from your perspective, Grant, what other areas do you think inside the, the arbitrage business are there for this type of like multiplying down on what's working? <laughs> you put me on the spot there. Um, well, shoot. Uh, well, yeah, I think, again, for me, it's been looking at 
So I kind of kind of got a different perspective because I've kind of made some major shifts in the arbitrage business. Uh, it's the same stuff, right? It's just a di it's just a different way of going about it. Um, and I think for me, it's just been looking for efficiencies and cutting out, like you you kind of mentioned this, cutting out the the fat that's like kind of weighing us down. And that really was our cost, right? Our cost to acquire inventory. So it was like, okay, how do we acquire? What are our what are our opportunities to acquire inventory? for less cost, less time. And that has put us in a position where for the first time in, you know, three years, I'm like, wow, we could, we could double our production and not spend any more time than we're already, we've already been investing anyway. So, um, yeah. so and, and that, and that happens in shipping as well. Right. And so it's, for me, it's been efficiencies and processes. In fact, well, and I'll, and I'll add to that. That's something that we, and I've talked about SOPs before I've written out SOPs before, but I've never finished them. Uh, and that is something that, that in, in fact, right now, Taylor is drafting up the SOPs for our arbitrage business in finite detail. Um, and so we're pretty excited about that. And that's something that we can also uh, talk about more in the future. Uh, but, but yeah. So working on another big gold nugget you just mentioned, working on your business versus working in your business. So it's kind of, and we talk about this a lot too, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and grind as the buyer um for arbitrage because that's that's really what feeds the needle but you gotta you gotta be able to remove yourself and look right. at the system as a whole and find ways to fire yourself and get people and systems in place to do that work so ralph cochran's a great example of this our good friend ralph uh he's got a team he actually assigns different sourcing agents on his team he's got his kids working for him uh for different lists and so um which is another inspired a really a new idea actually ralph we haven't got to talk recently if we get a chance to connect he actually ralph's inspired one of our, our whole new projects or partially inspired the ability for us to add teams that's a little sneak teaser wasn't planning mm -hmm. on that one today we got some cool new team stuff coming out but uh cool man um hey let's answer some questions real quick that's um if you guys have questions about the list to drop one of the questions um you limiting to 55 yes we are um we've talked many times and i know a lot of you guys have asked for you know are there other types of lists this seems to work really well and it seems to be a nice ebb and flow uh to the list and um that includes you uh grant and taylor so they'll be buying off the same list um let's see if you guys got any other questions um grant you mentioned the sops see that's like an example of uh yeah stuff that you need to do to be able to replace yourself so that's a good place to start if you're you know new in this process take down take your buying for example and just sit down and write out uh, we say sop a standard operating procedure so step one i do this <laughs> i open up my email. Step two, I click on the cheddar leads for the day. You know, step three, I review those leads and I'm looking for this criteria. Step four, purchase, you know, step five, enter information, you know, to reconcile, et cetera. So make just make a list and go through the whole process. That's just sourcing uh, from the sourcing to the prep and just follow your inventory all the way through the business. You'd be surprised when you do this. There's a lot of things that end up taking our time that um, aren't as productive. So well, I mean, that's that's exactly. I mean, as you as I hear you respond to what I was saying too, it's like um, that's a, that's probably exactly how I've scaled the arbitrage business, and exactly what we're doing right now is really like I've replaced myself in sourcing, right? And 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 right now I'm replacing myself in accounts management and team management. Taylor's taken over the whole ship, right? Mm -hmm. And Taylor's replacing himself in sourcing. So that's kind of what we're we're doing, right? Is we just kind of basically regenerate ourselves and our abilities. And invest that into new people so that the company can evolve and everybody moves up to a different layer in, in the business and, and and again as the business grows right you can't have one if you're you know if one person is managing your, your accounts now and then you double the size of your company you might not one person may not be able to handle that job right so you move up into a you know the a, a position that has more uh specific you know uh ownership level uh you know tasks essentially where, where i'm at and ashley and i are going to essentially just be managing you know the finances, right? For the most part, and 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 helping Taylor, you know, and, and, and invest in the Taylor managing the team. So everybody's kind of moving up into a different position, and that's exa that's exactly how you can do more of the same thing is duplicate yourself, right? So you're getting some high level stuff here. Um, that's always the great having these calls. We want to <laughs> we want to serve you guys. We got a lot more you're going to hear from Taylor too. Uh, Taylor's been stepping up in a big way. Our whole team's been stepping up in a big way, and um, you guys are going to get to benefit from that stuff. So. Grant, we'll continue to update the group um, even through as we re release five. You guys will be continuing uh, to, to source. We'll have more stuff coming on the pipe for that stuff. For today, that's the big announcement. We're stoked. Cheddar five and six 
Hopefully I clarified that for you guys. Um, six, you'll get beta for free for 60 days. If you want to stay, you also get first rider refusal for that. Um, and you'll get instant access to five. So five is being produced as we speak. And you guys will be first in the world to see these leads. Um, Grando, you and Taylor have been kind of peeking through them, but you guys will be literally first. We don't have, uh, we just want to do it all, all at once to make it easy. So I do expect uh, these to open and close very quickly. Each time we do a list release, um, it, the time that the, we have open gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So it's hard to predict how fast they will sell out. What I can say is if you know for sure that you want to be on five and you want to get the two for one special, uh, just to set a reminder on your phone for next Friday, January 31st at 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. You guys can do the math on that. Same time as this call and um, head over to ohheader.com and uh, be on the early bird list. That'll be early bird list. That'll be your first opportunity. Um, I would imagine if you're within the first five minutes, um, you, you'll probably almost guaranteed to get a spot. I can say that with with uh, a lot of certainty. Um, beyond that, I don't know because each one of these lists gets different. And it seems like the demand for cheddar builds. Um, I think that's from you guys. I give credit and props. I want to thank you guys. We don't we don't do any direct advertising per se of cheddar. Uh, we used to have uh, some very light retargeting campaigns running, but we don't even do that anymore. And it seems like the list grows pretty organically each month. I think you guys are recommending us to your friends. So thank you for that. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. Um, again, at Cheddar, we're all about the quality. So we don't want a million set sellers. Uh, we, we never we never set an intention for how do we build a big, huge you know, group and community. It's always been the quality. So how do we find really quality people to work with? And uh, that includes you guys. So appreciate you guys for being a subscriber. Appreciate the feedback too. Um, almost everything that you send to support, Grant and I get those emails too. So even if we don't respond, um, we see your in interactions with Cindy and the team. So appreciate that. Um, that's the summary, man. That's what we got for today. Um, I believe Cheddar 4 was the first list that sold out within 24 hours. And that was what, four or five, six months ago? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. How when did we release 4? Do you guys remember when we released? That was pre Q4, wasn't it? I believe it was. And See, like you said, the group is growing. Group. Yeah, we don't just pump these. This isn't like an every single month. We don't pump these out. It's like when we have them, we tell you guys we'd like to give you a heads up. And then we're going to be sold out again. And don't, I just, don't yell at us, okay? <laughs> we, we're doing our best to serve you guys. We don't yell at us when we sell out. Um, we try and do this in a fair, a fair way here. Awesome. We sold, we sold Cheddar Four, I believe it was in because we still got like twenty-five people from the no thirty people from the original launch, and we sold that in July. So, you know, so this was last summer. So it's been. Uh, like six months six really? months since we've released one and um and this will be your opportunity so if you guys want more leads like if you're looking for leads this quarter uh this will most likely be the only opportunity um this quarter most likely um uh, we've got some other stuff that we're working on and uh, we have gosh i wish i could tell you guys we have a new can Don't, i just like, no I, no <laughs> we, got a, we got something cooler um that's another announcement that we'll be announcing probably in a couple months um it's going to come out uh this year so later this year we've got other announcements for you guys i'll say that and, this, and if you like this announcement like you're probably um you're going to love these ones too i'll just say it like that the and cheddar will get better the cheddar is getting better man we're going deep and wide guys where we want to increase the quality of leads we also want to increase the production so we're looking for new frontiers and we're looking to increase the efficiency of our team and Grant and I have been working really closely with our lead production team to maximize efficiencies and just find other ways to create value for you guys. So mm -hmm. um, that's what's cooking behind the scenes here with Cheddar. So, all right, man, I'm going to flip this little flashing screen off here. Um, that's what's happened with OA Cheddar 4 and 5. You guys heard it here first. I want to say what's up. Uh, thanks, Cindy. Cheddar 4 released, yeah, in July. So I can't believe it was last July we did the last one. Yeah. Man um put it this way guys we're gearing up early for q4 so we started ramping up for q4 last year with our team probably six months in advance we've already been hiring and building for q4 um already in january and our plan is to continue to do that january february march april may june all the way into july august september so that by the time september rolls around and we come out with oh header black 2020 we're going to have that thing so chunky full of dripping cheese it's gonna, you're just gonna i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be good man uh our goal is to get better each year right like uh, you know yes. we don't like to compare ourselves to, to other groups we like to compare us so how can we be a better version of ourselves next year I encourage you guys to do the same thing too so cool daniel thanks have a great weekend appreciate you daniel darcy by word of mouth appreciate you being in the group 
Uh, Taylor, thanks for all your hard work, man. If you guys put posts in the group, um, Taylor is like quick on the spot to get onto stuff. So thank you for that, Taylor. He's got all the time now. What's that? He's got time now. Got time. I know. <laughs> welcome back to the world, Taylor. Hey, welcome back, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor's on the road. Like a, it's a tough gig, dude. Being on the road, RA guy. It's a tough gig. Driving through the mountains. You guys have snow and stuff up there. That's right. Yeah. It's like I. They should do a show like Ice Road arbitrage oh, yeah you know, that would be a great show Dang it. Taylor. I, need to, I, need to, I need to get cameraman to follow taylor around he's on the road. it'd be boring like 80 percent 90 percent of the time but there'd be a couple moments of taylor's brilliance yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah when he's arguing with the cashier because they won't accept his permit <laughs> that never happened uh, uh cool 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 all right cool any other closing questions guys otherwise we'll wrap this thing up grant we did a good job today we kept to our word we announced uh, the announcement within 20 minutes. So great job. Got to share with you guys. We like to jump out with you guys from time to time uh, just to touch base with you guys. Uh, we do hear and see all your messages. So when you message, like if you guys message OA Cheddar fan page, we get those messages. The whole team sees them. Cindy responds to them. If you message support at OA Cheddar, if you guys need anything, we see those emails. And then occasionally you guys feel the need to message us personally, which is that's cool too. And um, we're, we're glad to see you guys thriving. And uh, one thing I'll, I'll share, Grant, fun fact, uh, when we first launched Cheddar One, we had no idea it would turn into what it's what it's become. And we we launched one list just as a, really, we wanted to help solve a problem for some of our friends that were having a hard time finding product. But it's interesting that when we did that first group, the majority of the subscribers today on Cheddar One were the original subscribers. Like there's more people that have stayed on that list from the original group than have left that original Cheddar One list. And to me, I'm probably most proud of that accomplishment because that tells us that our quality has been good from the beginning and we just continue to focus on quality and make it better for you guys. So that's fun little fun little fun fact. So when these lists do, again, if, if any of you guys are new, if you miss out on getting on a list, what happens is you go on the waiting list, okay? Cindy, manually, when you guys opt into OHutter.com, we have a, um, it goes into our email list and then Cindy pulls that out and keeps a manual spreadsheet and she goes through in the order that you sign up. So if you happen to miss this launch, fair warning, it's only fair to be upfront with you guys, you'll go at the bottom of that 200 person waiting list and it's probably gonna be a couple months before she filters through and gets to uh, your name on the list. That's just the only fair way that we know how to do it. Um, so don't let that happen. Don't be that person. Um, uh, be on the aggressive with your business. Be ready next week for the release. And um two for one. What's that? Two for one. Doesn't get one special. How good does it get, man? We try and make it better and better. <laughs> two for one. Uh Darcy, will OA leads ever go to dot ca website? Uh do you know what she's asking? Oh, she's asking about Canada, and we do not source Canada yet, but that's that's, we got to think about that. <laughs> another, yeah, thank you. No, we don't. These are all U.S. exclusive leads so far. Again, that's another one of those ideas that's tempting for us to look into Canada and U.K. and some of the other markets. But we feel like we haven't even tapped the full. We haven't even started to tap the potential of the U.S. lead market. And so this is what's working. And we just want to keep drilling. Our goal is to keep drilling the well. You know, we're finding water. We want to keep drilling the, the, the water where the well is. Uh, maybe someday in the future, though. I can't ever say never. If we really if we find ourselves tapped out, Grant, I would love to find a day where Cheddar finds. I don't know if it's possible to find every lead in the OA space. I really don't think it's possible. I feel like it's endless. Um, anyways. Good idea. Um, if there was a demand, exactly, exactly. So, all right, guys, you guys heard the news. Help us spread the news. If you guys have friends, okay, spread the news. Okay, help us get the word out. If you guys have friends in the space, let your friends know first uh, of the drop happening next Friday. Give them a heads up. They'll say thank you for it. We appreciate it, and then we can send them some brownies at Christmas time next year. And uh, you'll look like a hero. It's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> uh, so help us do that. If you guys have friends, we will. Uh, we're going to email this link out um, and email the whole email list probably later today. And then again, uh, just opt in to ohcheddar.com, and that will be your first crack at Cheddar Five and Six next week when it goes live. So, G, appreciate the hard work, man. I'm excited. It's been Likewise. a long time since we got to release a new list like this. I'm pumped. Yeah, yeah. This will, uh, we got a good year. We got a good year ahead of us. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, and this is one of many things, guys. We got yep. more We got more good stuff to come that we're, I'm, I'm probably more excited about, quite quite frankly. Um, but this is good, man. This is one of those, you know, this is just find out what works and do more of it kind of thing. And we want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. So, 
Cool. Hey, blessings, guys. Have an awesome weekend. Happy Friday to you. Um, we'll see you guys in the group. And uh, specifically, we'll see you on OHHutter.com next Friday. So you have a good one, man. You too, bro. See you guys. Stop. All right. Cool. Um, cool. I don't even think we need an after show. I think it's saying live in the top left corner. So I don't know if we're at least on uh, on B Live. It says live. Stop streaming. I think we are still live. <laughs> How do we do this every time? Uh, <laughs> uh, tell a joke. Um, oh, two uh, Amazon sellers walk into a store. Uh, just kidding. Hey, have you funny? Real funny. Grant, uh, maybe Taylor. Taylor, when's the last time you walked into a Taylor salon? When's the last time you walked into a store, Taylor, and you saw another arbitrage seller? Did you like? Do you like make eye, eye contact and kind of have this like, like I know moment? I, that's happened to me before, where I've seen someone. I'm like, I know what y'all. I see him scanning over there. You know, I know what you're doing. Taylor, yeah. Taylor just came busting out here. I think he thought we were done. Why don't you get over here, Taylor? Come over here. Get, 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 why doesn't Taylor do? Go here, Taylor, Taylor, after show? You guys came out a little too early. He he. He should know better. Uh, Taylor, come tell us a funny story. Come over here, Taylor. <laughs> you guys want to stay on? Okay, I need you guys to comment Taylor. There he is. Taylor Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. What's up, Gabe? What's up, T-Money? <laughs> hey, when's the last time you walked into a store and, and saw another arbitrage seller? Or does that happen not often? What was well, do you ever see an, another Amazon seller at the stores? Yeah, I've actually met a few. Uh, actually, a couple of uh, from Canada uh, came down, ran to them. So, some Canadian yeah. Canadian arbitrage sourcing in Washington. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were coming down because they can't find enough uh, product up where they're at. Huh. So they were traveling down and seeing what it was like in the states. So. Uh, unfortunately, they were walking into a Marshalls, and I was walking out with about two grand. So, <laughs> uh -oh. I, sent, I sent them in a different direction. <laughs> Good luck. Don't go in there. Yeah, I said I'm going this way. So if you travel south, you're in trouble. Heads up. <laughs> but right. I'm not east. So if you go that way. All right, we're gonna do. This is gonna happen like in five minutes or less. Uh, we're gonna do a real quick after show. So um, if. Uh, real quick, Taylor, what are you guys spending on like a normal month now? What's like y'all's normal sourcing budget like? We've upped it. We've upped it to twelve thousand a week. <laughs> so I want to say it's roughly around forty. Um, I want to say yeah, forty forty five thousand in in a in a month. Twelve uh, k per week. And then when you sit down to source off Cheddar, what's uh, do you have like a, a specific budget that you sit down for like a day of sourcing? For a day, it depends on the leads. There's some days where, I mean, we our goal is to hit 2,500 a day. That's kind of our, our minimum. Um, that allows us to hit our budget or, or at least our, our goal every single week. But there's days where we're able to pull off 3,000 and plus. Um, some days where it might be like 1,500. Uh, but majority of the time, it's it's usually around 2,000 to 2,500 just okay. off the four cheddar lists. Now, we've also been purchasing off flips. Actually, I'm in the other room. Uh, checking in product because every single day we've been getting about 60 lead or 60 new uh, nomens a day to get checked in, which for us is huge. I mean, that's this product rolling in every single day and, and we're seeing the uptick in sales. Um, okay. But yeah, we've, we've been getting off on the, on the flips and I got to say, I mean, every, every time I check it in, I get more excited because I mean, it's just remarkable. I mean, buying these things from Amazon and you're selling it back on Amazon and, and everything I check in, it looks like it's going to be you know, working out really well. So, yeah, we'll have to do some more specific trainings on flips because you guys have really dove back in. We have inventory on flips. So if you guys are looking for inventory now, you can go to ohutter.com slash flips and you guys can get on. It's a, we run that group a little bit different. All the leads get posted in real time in a private Facebook group. So let me put this up here. Um, we don't really, we don't really um, promote flips. Um, I think that's the link. We don't promote flips that much. Taylor, you guys have been doing more and more of that. And this is coming from, I want you guys to hear this coming from Taylor. This is coming from a heavy RA background. You guys are just going deeper for the time savings because it's gotten you off the road. And yeah. then you, guys, you look good, man. You've been working out. I have been. <laughs> you been in the gym. You don't go yeah. in the gym when you're on the road, do you? You're I'm like a little today and my hair's all messed up because I, I wasn't expecting to be on camera. <laughs> Lance, yeah, this is all impromptu. Uh, hey, do you, I, I asked these questions. Thanks for hanging out for two minutes. Do you guys have any questions? I'll take maybe one or two questions. If you guys have any questions for Taylor. Taylor does um, basically 100% of the sourcing for y'all's company. Does Grant do any sourcing anymore? No. 
he does no. zero sourcing. So you do 100% of your sourcing. You guys have any questions for a seven figure uh, RA, OA buyer? Um, what he does, his process. Um, I'll ask, man, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. You all better have some questions. I got to say that. I'd be yeah, asking there's... questions. You got to <laughs> um tracy said or Rhonda says taylor won't be sourcing in my area i'd love to yeah that'd be a funny i'd yeah. love to see uh don't promote the flips matt thompson says don't promote the flips all right that's it matt says no <laughs> yeah. flips there's a, yeah there's a loyal group on flips that have been in there just just raking it you guys got to know what to do we haven't done a ton of training so our plan is to do more training around flips because it's a different business model and i understand that a lot of you um you know just like to kind of stay in your lane and stick to what you know so it is a difference it is different. Here's a question. Perfect. Perfect question. Two good questions. Three good questions. Four good questions. Um, what is Grant's most embarrassing moment sourcing? Oh, <laughs> moment of you being out. Okay, I actually have a, a good answer for this. Uh, so I've, I've been taking over shopping. I want to say it's been for the last year and a half, close to two years. Well, no, really. I mean, since three years, three years since I almost started, I, I started slowly taking it over and and growing it so grant didn't come with me very often um but every once in a while he'll come with me on a trip because he has to you know he has to wet his beak a little bit he gets excited so we go out to a town about an hour and away from us hour and a half away from us and we shop for about three four hours and grant has to take a phone call so he's sitting in the truck taking a phone call and i'm in a marshall sourcing well it's about an hour and a half later and i'm looking around for my my brother and i'm like where where on earth is this guy and so I'm walking around and, I, and I try, I'm looking out the window. I'm starting to get frustrated because I'm like, hey, we're supposed to be a team here. Where's my partner, you know? And uh, I walk out, trucks running, and Grant's just passed out in the driver's seat, <laughs> fell asleep. Take and, uh, he was, you know, I'm glad I found him because, I mean, who knows? He could have could have died, I mean, <laughs> with, the, with the engine running like that. But, yeah, no, Grant fell asleep on the job. <laughs> he was pretty embarrassed after that. <laughs> oh, he scared the crap out of me, too. Yeah, yeah. I you jumped on the window. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, as any good brother would do, right? As any yeah. brother would do. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Um, you guys have fun when you go out. But that when, uh, when's the last time Grant's been out with you, though? He, he doesn't go out that much anymore. No, uh, usually it's, it's, I mean, if there's just a slower day and, and, and he's feeling excited and wants to go out, we did, Q4 shopping. We did Q4, this last Q4 yeah. we went out and did some shopping at yeah, the yeah. markets and stuff, just cause it's fun like that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm sure you'll continue to, I mean, you guys will just be really strategic with Q4 instead of you'll just be like laser focused on what you're looking for. You guys know what you're looking for. So let yeah. me rapid fire some questions your way. We've got a bunch of questions that came out. I'll just do these real quick here. Okay. Um, what's your minimum ROI you look for on a lead from David? Um, forty percent or above is desirable. Um, and that's usually before tax. Once we take tax out of the equation, uh, I'll still accept it. Um, but it, it has to be a, a little bit of a faster mover uh, for me to go in on it. Um, Do you guys have it? I mean, we we have the cheddar standard. Are your how are your sourcing criteria different than cheddar? Is it the same as the cheddar? Like forty percent ROI? Is that basically what you guys source? Yep. Yep. It's, it's pretty much that. And the reason why is because, I mean, we're, we're spreading it out super wide. And so there's, there's items sometimes that you'll hit that low, you know, ROI, ROI points. And there's also items that you hit the higher ones in. Um, but for us, I mean, because we are, we are more of a, we spread everything out so wide with our budget that, that we'll take a, the lowest is usually 40% before tax is taken out. Okay, forty percent ROI before taxes, minimum four dollar net profit. Anything else? Are you looking at rank? Are you looking at competition? Um, rank, yes. I mean, I judge everything off of a Keepa chart now, uh, okay. so I read the Keepa chart, and and so I mean, as long as I see movement and spikes, uh, that's what means more to me than just what the rank is at um, that current time. Yeah. So we have like a you know minimum ten sales per month for Cheddar Standard. Do you look for about that, or higher, or lower, or? About that, yeah. It depends on how much quantity we're gonna get. I mean, if it's a slower moving seller, I'll and you know, and I'm able to take, uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to order two or three units of something because I'm gonna combine it with uh, another lead to where I get my free shipping and take advantage of coupons and things like that. Um, on the items where you might have to go in a little heavier in, uh, we'll do that. But it, I, I keep it in the mindset of okay, I'm gonna buy this one time and I'm probably gonna sit on this for the next three months, but I'm gonna sell it slowly. But it will sell. Okay, I'll buy ten of these. Okay. You know, but you know, we're, we're seeing a lot more faster turning stuff with OA. Uh, that's been the biggest thing for me is items land, they sell, they sell out quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, which for us has been the huge upside between RA because with RA to, to acquire the budget and to spend the amount of money we needed to spend, we, 
not trying to, but unwillingly, I, I was going too deep on items. I was going, I was buying, you know, six months worth of supply on items and tying up a whole bunch of capital. Uh, and it caught up to us. And we started seeing like, hey, this isn't, this, this model isn't working. So now with this OA model, uh, we're spending the same budget, but I'm turning that budget over quicker. So, so our, you're going shallow and wide and are you, are you looking, you're, how are you looking for stuff? Are you still guys looking for stuff that turns really quickly? Is that still a big part of your model? Oh, of course. I mean, we're always looking for items that turn quickly, but we're also not afraid to, you know, to, to, to spend items on slower moving things that will sell that, that have a stronger history with it. Uh, so, you know, say you have an item that sells consistently all throughout the year and with different offer spikes for around a 35 to 40 percent ROI after after tax and everything okay. is taken into consideration. You know, we'll, 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 we'll buy that and we'll sit on it, but I'm not going to go too deep on it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. five okay. units. Okay, cool. Um, so to clarify, there's a couple that, uh, Matthew asked us, what percentage, uh, what's your percentage of OA versus RA? So we kind of mm -hmm. talked about this earlier, but what are you guys doing as far as like currently your uh, RA to OA? So out of, on a typical week right now, I'm still going out for one day and I'm not spending, spending a night, but I'm just driving uh, two hours usually at the max. Um, and I'll spend anywhere from three to four thousand dollars that day, depending on RA, depending on depending on if if Charles is with me when I'm by myself. It's usually around three to thirty five hundred um, or less, uh, probably around three thousand. And so, what would that be? I'd say seventy five percent of our stores coming away now. Okay, and yeah. we're transitioning more towards the 80, 20, 20 split. But uh, as of right now, RA is pretty good, decent in the the price off stores. That will change. Okay. So we're going to be probably leaning more on OA uh, in the next couple months. So you basically kept your bread and butter. I mean, you guys have been transparent about this from day one, your price off stores that you guys source at TJ Maxx, Ross. It doesn't hurt to say that because they're all different all across the country. So you guys want to affect somebody in Virginia. But you were doing three, four days a week and you were traveling around and you had, you had all this stuff, truck. Now you're doing one day and the rest of it you're replacing. Uh, and that's probably going to continue to in increase that way. But you're keeping some of the bread and butter stuff. So if you you know yeah. how to like you know how to go into a Ross and clean up. I mean, how long does it take you if you're going into a TJ Maxx, for example? How long are you spending in each of these stores? Marshalls will be the longest um, hour and a half to two hours, depending on on how big of a store it is and if I'm by myself or not. Uh, Ross, TJ Maxx, hour or less. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I figured you can kind of get in. You know what you're looking for. There's you know stuff you've sourced before. You you have your replenish you look for. Um, mm -hmm. Nick says, do you use the seller app to check leads? So what are you using to to check leads? So when I'm when I'm doing RA, I'm using the Scoutify two app uh, that allows me to look at Keepa and everything from one central source. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus, it connects to our inventory lab account, so I'm able to see if I've purchased this item before in the past. Did I sell it? How much profit did I make? How many items did I sell within a certain amount of time? Which makes it really easy to, to buy replenishables and feel more confident about going deeper in on certain items and stocking up. Um, when I'm sourcing OA though, it's I'm using RevSeller uh, to analyze my cost breakdown and ROI, Keepa for my uh, for my price history, and that's about it. Uh, you're using uh, Scoutify too when you're on the road, and what'd you say on your desktop? You're using RevSeller and Keepa. RevSeller and Keepa. That's pretty much it. Uh, Variation yeah. Viewer, which is uh, just another extension to be able to look into. Uh, so, say if there's a pair of shoes that, is, that are out of stock in a certain size, and I can buy them, I can look up that ASIN via uh, Scoutify or through Inventory Lab. I can pull up that and pull, see the data. Okay. Those are nice too because I mean no competition on them. So if I'm able to purchase it and send them in, I'm the only one. Or okay. small. So yeah, nothing fancy. Uh, do you ever use the Amazon app to see if you're like like you guys aren't restricted in a lot of categories? Right? Are you checking to see if um, are you like do, using it at all or no? Not really, because Scoutify too links up to our our uh, Seller Central account. So if I am restricted, it will pop up on the bottom, and I can check to see what type of restriction. Okay. Uh, hazmat would be the only issue that reason why I'd want to use the seller app. Um, okay. but we're also enrolled in the hazmat FBA program. So we don't run into that too often. And if we do, we'll just merchant fulfill it. And those are usually smaller items. Okay. Again, look that, that entry or bar barrier or a barrier of entry is great with merchant fulfill offers. Yeah. So there's a lot of leads that you guys will see on the cheddar list that are hazmat products that you need a merchant fulfill. Um, and they're usually smaller, you know, makeups yeah. and health and beauty product items. So we're, we're taking advantage of that and merchant fulfilling those out of yeah. our shop. 
Okay, cool. Um, let me grab a couple of these last questions here. I don't. I want to uh, get y'all's questions, and we'll wrap up here. Um, so Nicholas, how's it to clarify twenty five hundred bucks a day across four cheddars? So are you? <laughs> do you have any favorites? You probably shouldn't say if you have any favorites, or is it? I mean, how do you approach when you sit down to source the list? How do you approach it? So the nice thing about our list is they they're pretty much balanced out uh, amongst all all four lists. Uh, so really uh, there's not one that's a favorite over another uh they all intermix and then when you're on multiple lists you'll see there's leads from different sources on on different or uh, same source on different lists and so it kind of opens up you know when i was talking about going too big on quantity of an item benefit of having multiple lists is you can you know lower your risk lower the quantity that you're purchasing to achieve the free shipping or the or the coupon um and so that's the nice thing about chatters one of my more favorite things is that they're very, they're, they're separate, but they're also connected. When you're on multiple lists, you'll start to see like, okay, hey, you know, these, you know, for instance, there was a lead today from joanne.com, you know, and there's, there it was on three of the lists. And so I was able to purchase and lower the quantities that I was purchasing to acquire free shipping. So, okay. But yeah, $2,500 a day on all Chatter 4s uh, or four Chatter lists. And, and it's about $2,500 a day that's coming out of the four lists. Uh, when I go out and do RA sourcing, I don't normally go back on that previous day's list and, and make purchases off there. We will be now since uh, I'm training a, a buyer. Okay. Um, so we'll be sourcing continuously, but yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so Tony asked, same question, like what's your game plan for that 2,500 bucks? So when you sit down, I mean, I kind of asked this question earlier, but um, you're just looking to spend that on the four lists. Is there hits your criteria? You're looking for stuff. You're going shallow onesies to threesies kind of thing. I'll go shallow on some, uh, usually like shoes and clothing items. I'm going, I'm going more shallow on, I'm not going to go too heavy. We have a rule that we try to stick to. Um, and if we can invest $50 into each SKU, so say that it's a $5 item. Okay. I, if, if I'm investing $50 into this and I go up to $10 or a 10 quantity, my risk isn't too high. It's not like a $50 pair of shoes that I'm going super deep in and tying up a bunch of money. So those 50, Dollar shoes. I might be buying one of those. Say it's a, a clothing item that's, uh, you know, thirteen dollars. You know, I might be, you know, be buying four or five of those depending okay. on what it looks like. So we okay. we create a rule, you know, a rough rule of around fifty to sixty dollars per skew that we'll invest into, and that helps us stay focused on spreading it out wide. Cool. I hadn't heard that before. That's good to know. Um, cool. Salim, uh, do you source RA with specific deals in mind, or do you hit random? So when you go into a TJ Maxx, are you looking, um, yeah, are you looking for something specific? You going to a certain area, or do you just go and source? So I'll pay this. I'll pay their 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 normal price, um, and then of course their clearance items are normally clearance racks are, are a big plus because if it's discounted, you know, an item that might not have been good a month ago is now good now because I'm buying it for cheaper. Um, but okay. really, I go, I go in and I'm looking if there's certain brands. Uh, I mean, Nike and Under Armour and Adidas are the big ones, but also Polo. Um, drawing a blank on, you know, uh, Polo uh, Reebok is another one that I've been finding that more and more items in Reebok are popping up. Puma as well. More items okay. are on Amazon from Puma. Uh, so I'll start with the shoes, go into clothing, hit the health and beauty, uh, hit the home goods to see if there's any like small appliances. Um, and okay. items like that. So you're not just looking at the discount stuff. I mean, you're in a discount store. You're you're just looking. There's these name brand stuff. You guys know how to sell it. Um, yeah. Bras, unmentionables. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you guys have kind of honed in on. So cool. It's with with RA, there's less taking advantage of sales and deals going on. Like for instance, with OA, it's more taking advantage of coupons right. and, and other thing else and, and other things like that. Um, and so you know, unless we're going into like a, like a Walmart this time of the year, uh, you know, it's a good time to source it because they're clearing out everything before February first. So I mean, I went to our local Walmart Walmart yesterday, and I was buying toys for four or five dollars a piece, and that we're selling for twenty to thirty, forty dollars a piece. Okay. So uh, there's opportunity there during certain times of the year, but really it's just you hit the same stores and, and you're looking for the same items. Uh, there's not like a unique way of about going. Yeah, just different strategy. So good. It helps to have this conversation because I think it benefits sellers across the board. Everyone's strategy is different. A lot of people come to Cheddar from different places. You know, there's a lot of, we have a lot of um, transitioning RA people um, yeah. in the Cheddar community. We have a lot of full time that have already made the transition um for full-time arbitrage and we have people that have like multiple product lines they have arbitrage and private label and different things and they still feed their arbitrage through cheddar so wherever you're at on the journey 
there's something here for everybody. Um, so cool, man. Well, let's let's wrap this up. Uh, what was I gonna sh share here? Um, oh, Veronica snuck a question in. Uh, quick shout out to Nate McAllister. What's up, Nate? One of the good Nate. guys. Entree resource. Nate stuff's really good, man. I'll give a plug to yep. Nate. Nate finds stuff. Um, I follow your blog, Nate. On a besides being friends, um, your stuff's really good, man. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. um, helpful. Very helpful. Like all of your blog posts, I always leave it, and it saves me time, or makes me money, or I get a coupon, or something. So, anyways, Nate's a good guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Veronica, uh, how many different SKUs a day are you sourcing on average for OA? So, if you had to take a guess on a normal day, how many SKUs do you think that is? Um, on a good day, I'd say about forty-five to fifty uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, on a on a slower day, I'd say about thirty to thirty-five. So around around 40, 40, 40 line items is usually what I'm pulling off in, in on our buy list, uh, which are all in individual SKUs. And from there, I'd say about an average of um, 100 to 130 items in a day Okay, uh, off that. 40, 50 SKUs, 100 plus items. That's just a normal day in the life. I wonder if anybody would value, I'm curious if anybody would value spending some time with Taylor, uh, kind of learning some of the tricks of the trade. You've been doing this for a couple of years now. So you probably yep. do some things intuitively, Taylor, that you don't notice, um, that you've kind of honed in your genius. You know what to look for. When you go to a TJ Maxx, you know, you're spending an hour because you're getting in and out. You know what you're looking for. You know what sells. Where mm -hmm. a new person might spend three, four hours because they don't quite know what to look for. So, hey, well, uh, uh, oh. Go ahead. Well, just, yeah, I mean, I, just to touch on that, I mean, I, I, I look back when I first started and, and you know, for us, if we could spend $1,000 a day, that was like the bare minimum goal. 2000 would have been a great day. And I used to stress about it. I, I mean, I used to, I, I remember calling Grant and like having little mental breakdowns. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, man. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna fail. Like, this is hard. Like, this isn't easy. And, and over, and now it goes out and there's no, there's no worry of, okay, am I gonna find something? Am I gonna get lucky today? It's like, I, I already have like, so yeah, I think you're right. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that's come over the years that's made it easy. Uh, so yeah, it gets easier at time. That's the that's one of the laws of prosperity. Like when you develop your craft, you got to learn your craft. You got to learn how to add value to the world as an entrepreneur, and it gets easier with time. That's the good news. So mm -hmm. hey, let's do this. Thank you guys for being on live. I see we've got majority uh, uh, over half the group that started on with us is still on live. So thank you guys. Uh, do me a favor, hit the love button, hit the love button or the like button, depending if you love us or you like us tap that a whole bunch of times. Cause it gives me a little shot of uh, adrenaline when you guys do that. And I want to know that you're still here, uh, checking in with us So like that on Facebook and, uh, you guys know, actually you can't, this isn't like, I was thinking this is like an Insta live Insta thing. Okay. So you don't get the little heart things. That's on an Instagram thing. Um, that's what's happening guys. Next Friday, we'll drop the list. Set a reminder on your phone. It's been flashing across the screen uh, below for half this broadcast. So you guys all know the date and the time next Friday, the 31st, 1 p.m. Central. We will email you. So the fastest way to get in the line is to go to ohcheddar.com and join the waiting list. If you're not already on it, we will fire you guys an email and we'll be stoked to kick off five and six. So you get five as part of your subscription and you also get um, a 60-day free trial to OA Cheddar 6. And first right of refusal at the end of that 60 days. If you want to stay on it, don't have to do anything. You'll automatically get billed 149 um, then and every 30 days thereafter. And if you ever want to cancel or update your subscription or need anything from us, y'all can message us support at ohcheddar.com. And uh, Cindy does a wonderful job assisting you guys. So thank you, Cindy, for that. And uh, we're going to wrap up. So Taylor, thanks for jumping on, man. Impromptu. Taylor Dunn, ladies and gentlemen favorites uh been in the gym so you're gonna see a new man in the upcoming months um <laughs> i got ronnie messaging cool all right man have a great day i will turn off the screen we'll see you guys later bye, -bye everybody